everyone, I hope you are all well. Today's video is going to be about 10 ways Iceland changed me. Now, I'm sure if you've moved abroad, then you um, have definitely been influenced by the country that you're living in now. And um, I just did this, I did this about Uganda because I was traveling back very, very often and I felt like it changed me in a few ways. The Iceland is the first place that I had actually officially moved to. I'd officially like settled in and decided that this was my home. I'm actually not in Iceland right now, I'm in London. But right now, let's just focus on Iceland. The first way Iceland changed me is it has made me more adventurous or at least brought out the adventurous side of me much more. I've been on, I've done different things that I never imagined myself doing like glacier hikes, horse riding, which I'm sure some of you probably do, which is kind of a more common thing than glacier hiking. But I feel like now I've been living in Iceland I feel like I've, the adventurous side of me has been brought out much more and I absolutely love that I, that's one of the reasons I moved to Iceland because of the nature and everything but I'll talk about why I moved to Iceland a bit more in another video but let's just say this I'll just say this I'll just leave it here Iceland has brought out the more adventurous side of me just kind of like that person who's just like yep I want to do that I want to do that just so many, you'll see all the videos on my channel of the different activities that I've been taking part in. It's just, you know, it's a whole bunch of fun saying yes to stuff that you that you would usually just like not be interested in or say no to. So yeah, that's the first way Iceland has changed me. The second way Iceland has changed me is I have started to enjoy cooking more. Now it's not like I never enjoyed cooking, it's just that I've never really felt like I've had the ideal kitchen to express my, you know, culinary creativity in. And and so when I moved to Iceland, obviously I was in hostels for a while and then after that I moved into a place, an apartment, an actual home. And so I was able to stock the fridge, not always at the start because of my job, but like I was able to stock the fridge when I eventually, and then eventually start cooking much more. And eating out in Iceland can be quite expensive so it's actually just better to go ahead and do a big shop, stock your fridge and cook. And I've really, really enjoyed that. If you've been following me on Instagram, you've probably been seeing me cooking more, um, posting my cooking stories at all times of the evening. And I'm just enjoying it. Like, I just enjoy cooking much more. So, yes, that is the second way Iceland has changed me. I've started to enjoy cooking more. The third way Iceland has changed me is I've actually become more comfortable with nakedness, especially in like uh, the women's changing rooms and stuff like that. I grew up in England and I guess English people and British people are quite conservative and we just always have showers which are sectioned off. Ne there's never, I've never come across a communal shower apart from one time when I went camping in yes apart from one time apart from one time uh, but I was a kid then so I guess I didn't really care anyway but like as you get older you, you know you just kind of like more aware of yourself and you just kind of want to keep yourself to yourself but in Iceland like most of the showers in the public swimming pools gyms are communal and I feel like that helps you save so much time having a communal shower and then there's like this shelf where you just like slot in your towels so there's no business of hanging it on trying to find somewhere to hang it or hanging it over the door and it happens to get wet and I guess having these communal showers means it's like maybe easier to keep clean or easier to have more people fit in because a lot a lot of people in Iceland go to the gym. A lot of people are really, really fitness crazy. I guess these communal showers really help with, you know, accommodating more people. I had never actually imagined myself showering with strangers or even being comfortable with it. But when I went to the Secret Lagoon, actually, I read their website beforehand, and I thought what they were, what they had written, was a joke. They was, they just tell you the instructions, how you you know treat the pool and the space and everything and they say you have to shower naked before you enter and that was my first time as an adult showering communally and I just had to get over myself because I realized I just want to I have to follow the rules I have to even though I showered at home yes I did shower at home but I had a shower there again because you know just out of respect um, yeah, you have to follow the rules and you just have to get over yourself like 
you just have to realize that nobody is focusing on you nobody is like looking at your body if you have insecurities and you might think that somebody's judging you it's not like that people just focus on spending time in the pool especially on the tour that i went on it was very very uh time restricted we were very very restricted with time and so you, we had to shower quick and we had to get dressed quick just so that we could get back on the bus you know back to Reykjavik so I had to be comfortable with with my naked body I had to be comfortable to know that and know that actually nobody's looking at me if that's something that you are a bit uncomfortable with then if you want to come to Iceland then you probably need to get used to it I remember the first time I went to the pool I was so self-conscious and I wore a towel outside with on top of my swimsuit I wore a towel um, then I moved on to a sarong then I just I just ditched them I eventually managed to get over my insecurity and just enjoy myself and it's just it just helps with time saving as well just like get on just bish bash bosh just do it <laughs> Okay, so the fourth way Iceland has changed me is I just started to enjoy meat more. Now, some of you may find this a bad thing, some of you may find it a good thing, but maybe it's because the variety of vegetables aren't so vast. Um, maybe it's because um, the quality is better, but I just found myself eating more meat. Some of it I felt kind of affected me in a bad way, like uh, the first time I bought bacon it was okay, but the second time I bought bacon I thought, okay, let me try a different brand. And it was just, I just started breaking out. Like I just started breaking out like crazy and I was like, never again. I didn't even finish the packet of bacon, never ever again. But I just started to eat more, more meat. And, uh, but I think that might change again. But I think that might change again and I might just go back to a more vegetarian diet because it can be really detoxifying when you just stop eating, stop eating meat for a while and uh, just focus on the veggies but yeah that is the fourth way Iceland changed me especially like towards the middle of my towards like the five month mark I was like hmm eating more meat yes or should I say enjoying meat more not necessarily eating more meat but enjoying it more the fifth way Iceland changed me is I have started to enjoy the snow more I remember when it used to snow in England I always used to get so like scared because then I felt like it would be cold outside I felt like oh no there's a risk of me getting sick of me getting cold um, but I found in Iceland when it snows more it's actually the atmosphere is actually a bit warmer than when it's dry uh, when it's dry the atmosphere or the clouds even though you're more in the winter you're more likely to see the northern lights when it's not snowing I found that um, I just have been enjoying the snow so much there was one time it, the one time it snowed so much they had to plow the streets and it was just a mess my shoes and my socks and my in my boots were getting really wet because I walked to work every day um, but apart from that one day apart from that one day every single time it snowed it was just like such magic to me uh, it was just amazing. It was just so wonderful to me. I realized that was a changing me because I never used to like the snow, especially because there was one time it snowed. It didn't even, when here, it, when it snows, it doesn't even snow properly. It's just like sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. And then the next day is gone. It's really annoying when it snows in England because it doesn't, it never does it properly. Why? If you're gonna snow, snow big snow properly go 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 big or go home okay snow that is the fifth way Iceland changed me so the sixth way Iceland changed me is it made me more ambitious now I can't say I was not ambitious before but the thing Iceland has opened my eyes to is the fact that I can actually reach for exactly where I want to be and get there that is what it has opened my eyes to. I think in London it's extremely discouraging applying for jobs, trying to, um, trying to make things happen in terms of applying for jobs um, when there's so much competition and you apply and there's so much rejection. You have more hope here in London. I feel like there's more hope in being a startup, being a business owner than um, well, at least you feel more hope. <laughs> at least you feel more hope, more hope when you um, are starting up a business. 
what I've been trying to focus on right now is finding my ideal job in order to get the necessary experience I need um, I just love the idea of being employed but then I also love the idea of being self-employed but right now I just need I just want to be I just want to aim for the job that I want and get that another th reason why I feel feel like Iceland has made me more ambitious is because maybe it's a it's a small country and it's easier to have first-hand contact with managers CEOs business owners and um, people who are generally uh, in a position to hire you or in a position for you to you know in, you collaborate with and I just find that there's more of a community spirit here um, you know you apply for a job and even if they're gonna reject you they will actually reject you in email officially whereas in London or in other places you can apply for like hundreds of jobs and not even get a single reply not even a single reply Iceland has given me the hope to keep hoping and to keep striving ambitiously uh, for exactly exactly what I want never ever to limit myself even though at one point I did actually feel a bit limited but after going round in circles I realized there's so much freedom in being in this country that's one way Iceland has changed me or at least put me back on track the seventh way Iceland has changed me is it has made me feel more entitled to a better quality of life I feel like the quality of life in Iceland is much better and this kind of this point kind of goes hand in hand with the whole making more, me more ambitious and making me entitled to a better quality of life I remember feeling that you know I just have to accept this and accept that and now I find myself constantly pushing and striving and aiming and feeling entitled to better and I think that's really good I think you should never settle you should never just take what you you can get you should always go for exactly what you want what you deserve and not feel bad about it some of you might take this as a bad thing some of you may think good on you I just say that you know we are all entitled to a good quality of life and I feel like we should never give up on pushing for it so yes that is the seventh way Iceland has changed me the eighth way Iceland has changed me is it has made me overcome different fears and I feel I've actually found a new freedom whereas before I think I was kind of mentally bound in a sense and this has really helped me get to know myself and what I really want and need I have been exposed to a different way of thinking but also put my twist on it and made it suitable for me The tenth way Iceland has changed me is it has given me a place to call home. With the people I've met and gotten close to, I feel right at home. My third home. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe and turn your notifications on so you know exactly when I've uploaded a video. If you have moved to Iceland and are now living there and loving it or maybe not loving it, please do leave your comments in the comment section of ways Iceland has changed you. I would love to hear it. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media so you can keep up with me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.